a lot of Google Pay users still don't know how to use this feature. You can simply put your phone on any swiping machine like this and make payments. It's quite fast and easy. You don't have to enter passwords or PIN, etc. In simple terms, you are saving your card details on the phone digitally so you don't have to carry your cards physically wherever you shop. These are also known as NFC or contactless payments. So let's see how to set this up on your Google Pay so that you can make payments using your phone. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like this video guys. Let's begin. So for this to work, the main thing that you need to have on your phone is something called the NFC feature. Now, most brands sadly don't include this in the budget phones, but typically phones around 15 to 20K or above that do have this feature. So make sure you have this feature on your phone. So now let's get down to the real setup process. First up, open the GPA on your phone and once you sign in, you need to tap on the top right corner logo here. Under the payment method, click on the debit or credit card. And here you have an option to add credit or debit cards. Now Google Pay does support most of the major banks. I'll try and add a list here. So now click on the add debit or credit card over here and click on the proceed. And here you need to enter your card details like you would on any other website like entering the numbers and CVV expiry etc. So once you do this click on the save card details and uh, your card will be added but it will also be verified with the bank and you need to just uh, agree to the terms and this will basically send you an SMS or email as per your choice and you need to verify with an OTP so here I am choosing the SMS so enter the OTP and you are pretty much done with adding the card on your Google Pay successfully but you also need to do some extra settings for this to work. So moving to the final steps you need to open your bank's net banking or app to make these settings. So in my case it is the Kotak bank so go into the card section and this is a debit card so I'm going to click on the debit card here and click on the card controls over here you need to enable a couple of things for this to work so enable the contactless payments this is very important and if you have something like tokenized payments you might want to enable this as well so just make sure you enable these two also you need to set limits for the NFC payments just to be extra safe so in my case, I am going to set the NFC payment limit to be around 5000 or 2000 whatever you like. You can set a limit for this. So finally, make sure you apply these changes and that's pretty much it. Last but not the least, you also need to go into the NFC settings of your phone and make sure that the default payment method is set to Google Pay, which completes the setup process. but there are a lot of questions people have so let me answer some of the most commonly asked questions so the first question is do you need to open the google pay while making the payment absolutely not you don't need to open the google pay or enter any password or pin just make sure that you enable nfc right before making the payment and just tap on the swiping machine and that's pretty much it everything should happen automatically Another question people have is I don't have this symbol on my card so can I use this on my phone for contactless payments? Yes you can absolutely use your card even if it does not have that NFC symbol simply because your phone already has it. The next question is do I need mobile or Wi-Fi data? Absolutely not it works without any internet connection. But one thing that you need to make sure is just disable the NFC once you are done with the payment and enable it only when you are just about to make the payment. Also guys look for this symbol on the swiping machine which means it supports the contactless payments otherwise it does not work. So if you have any questions do comment down below and also make sure you like this video guys. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.